Hi, I like to send this out to my children. I'm going to read you Twas the Night Before Christmas. Okay, so here it goes. So get in bed, get under the blankets. Are you comfortable? Good. Ready? Here we go. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled in for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprung from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new-fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below, when what to my wondering eye should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer, with a little old driver so lively and quick, <laughs> I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled, and he shouted, and he called them by name. Now Dancer, now Dasher, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. And dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they met with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop the coursers they flew, with a sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas, too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes bow, they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn like a bow, and the beard of his chin was white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled around his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings then he turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose he sprang to his sleigh to his team gave a whistle and away they all flew like dawn of a whistle but I heard him exclaim or he drove out of sight Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas. That was to you, kids. Have a Merry Christmas. I love you.